This is College Street in the heart of Calcutta. It's the biggest book market in the world. Arabinda Dasgupta runs the oldest bookshop here. His assistant starts the day with a prayer ceremony or puja. We pray to God, let us have a peaceful day on the welfare of the society, on the betterment of the students and everything. Then you can walk properly. Whenever we open our bookshop, it is a must. And puja it purifies the mind. You just con concentrate your, all your minds in the bookshop. Don't think anything else other than this bookshop. For Arabinda, running a bookshop is far more than a job. It's a calling. Books, if I consider, I love books more than my wife. Books are the best friends. My first option is books. Second is also books. First priority is books, to read books. Second option, to sell books to the students. The shop has been in Arabinda's family for four generations. His great-grandfather arrived in Calcutta in 1886. He decided to open a bookshop. And actually, he selected this place, this college did. At the time, that was Presidency College, Calcutta University, Hindu School, Hare School. Some of the premier institutions were here in College Street. Very few uh, Indian books were available at the time. He started importing books to cater the demands of the intellectuals and higher academic persons. But Arabinda has been most influenced by his late father, who worked in the shop for 60 years. Uh, still now, today, I consider my father is my guru. Every day, I, uh, my, I see that my father is with me. My father asked me several times, don't look after money, you'll get automatically business. But it's the first and foremost duty is to serve people. You must give the students as the best book you should recommend. Jayita Ghosh is one such student. She's studying literature at Kolkata University. Books are my passion. I like literature a lot. And I also stay near College Street, so I often used to come to this place to pass time with books. So it has a very good variety of books on literature and storybooks, every kind of book, syllabus-oriented books, and he often used to come here. And uh, I have a very good acquaintance with uh, Aurobindo Uncle, who is the director of this shop. Uh, Hello, morning. Uncle. How are you? Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm here today to search for a few books. Yes. Yeah. So uh, can you please help me out? Yes. And here I have uh, this list of books with me. Mm. Uh, you see, and uh, this see, book's Introducing Shakespeare by G.B. Harrison. I need this book for my uh, I can get you because classes. right now we don't have this book. I yeah. can get you within a week's time. Some of the students read a lot. I, I'm talking about the 10% students. They read a lot. They, uh, every day they read books. Uh, for, uh, for Some of them for their higher studies. But some of them really, they love books. They buy books and they read books. Rani, you have come to now in Dasgupta family. You find the, all the family members are here. Like his business, Arapinda's home expresses his belief in tradition. He lives in a household along with 25 other members of his joint family. All my brothers here, my auntie, eldest auntie, you were here. All my sister-in-laws are really here. And my nephews, my niece, all are here. So we'll first pray to God, then we'll go for the dinner. Sandeep Datta also works in College Street. 
He is a poet and teacher, but his real passion is Bengal's tradition of so-called little magazines. His life's mission is to collect and preserve as many as he can. Every day it is my routine work. Uh, before going to school and after school, I come here and purchase the little magazines. And I want to see which little magazine published, newly published. Here, 100 to 200 little magazines in this stall. Here in College Street Market, there are little magazines produced by Bengali communities all over the world. Everywhere, where Bengalis, they published a magazine, literary magazine. It is not a joke. It is not only emotion. It is a creation. Little magazines, is, it is a parallel literature. It is a youth literature, an anti-establishment literature, not mainstream. These magazines may be widely published, but Sandeep believes their minority taste. Not everybody. Selected people like, buys, and loves little magazines. They read little magazines. They write in little magazines. Since 1978, Sandeep has run a specialist library of little magazines in his own home and at his own expense. Nowadays, I've collected 60,000 little magazines. Uh, no government helped me. It is non-government organization. Where I will go? So here I uh, fight for little magazines. This is a one by one inch mini magazine, smallest magazine in the world. So small later, uh, then I, I read the matter with the lens. Folklore, uh, uh, politics, anthropology, sociology, on fine arts, recitation, uh, songs. These magazines are tagors. All magazines are Tagor. Rabindranath Tagore was a Bengali cultural giant, a poet, musician, painter, and the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Self-portrait of Rabindranath Tagore. Discovery, self-portrait of Rabindranath Tagore. Jani ami, jani bheshe jade, o bhima. I like the song a lot. It's a, it's a divine song of Tagore. And sometimes, you know, uh, Tagore's love songs and Tagore's uh, divine songs, they have something in common. You can't differentiate between the two. And uh, the, they often get fused together because uh, Tagore uh, often addresses God as his lover. That is the thing. Tagore means he is my life for everywhere he is with me. Every day, I, I, whenever in the morning, I used to uh, listen to the songs of Tagore every day, almost every day. Since childhood, and I'm with books and uh, with my parents and um, I like spending time with Tagore particularly because Tagore speaks about human life in all its shades. In every shade that human life uh, can uh, have, all emotions, whether it's happiness, whether it's sadness, human crisis, the crisis uh, in human life. Like everywhere in India today, Calcutta is changing. Shiny shopping malls are opening all over the city. 
A new one is being built on College Street itself, right opposite the book market. Sankalan Datta works with the developer. This mall is totally to enrich the book culture and the book reading habit of Kolkata. It will be an integrated book mall and education, life, leisure, entertainment will be under one roof. Publishers, booksellers and like this is heaven for them and whoever are the book lovers who love the book, that is, this is their next destination. The most happening space in the North Calcutta which is coming up. But some people in College Street are less enthusiastic. Book mall is in Bengali language, language mall means the same. I think book mall will not be popularized. They, there will be sell vegetables. Uh, shoes, foods, entertainment, there will be a cinema hall and a theater hall, but book lover people will not go there. There will be other business, not on books. Who will go there? Rich men, very rich businessmen. Those worst affected by the new mall will be the pavement booksellers of College Street. They're known as hawkers, and the already precarious livelihood would be further undermined. This particular shop, and there are many shops, many old bookshops which are not shifting to the book mall because of the rates they were given to you for being shifted, it's quite high. They cannot afford it. That is what uh, he's telling me. But the developers are prepared to make a concession. They say they'll give space to the book hawkers, if only for a few hours a week. On Sunday, in a specific time, for about two to four hours, we will stop the escalator, the movement of the escalator, and we will allow the small uh, booksellers who sit on the footpaths of the streets and all to come up here without paying any cost and just to sell their books. We have also definitely prefer to have a space over there. Already booked a space there. Arabinda is visiting the construction site to check out the space for his new shop. He won't be abandoning his old premises in College Street, but he still has mixed feelings about the move. And we are happy because if we shift there, we're not, we are not shifting totally, we'll be here. But some more space if we get over there, we can stock better books. All the market will be air-conditioned and very clean and uh, comfortable over there. At the same time, Nostalgic part of, of our life will go, definitely. When we'll shift to that place, so definitely that our, uh, we'll lose something. We'll lose something. That simply it is, a, it is a place where it is a buying and selling books and not other things. But here is interactions is very much. Calcutta Book Fair is also uh, very nice, but uh, I think this year's book fair particularly, they're not taking any entry fee, you know, they're, they're not taking any entry fee. Uh, huh? Everyone agrees the book mall will bring big changes to College Street. Even Sandeep can see one possible benefit. I have a dream 
through book mall. I want their international magazines. I want to see their international books. I want to see the book mall. If so, book mall will be success. If not, book mall is nothing, zero. The Indian Coffee House is a College Street landmark. Bengalis come here to indulge their love of debate, known locally as Ada. Arabinda and Jayita are joining other book lovers to discuss the new mall. So, the bookshops are gradually dying. There was a need for a book mall. So, some people took the initiative to convert that college market and convert it to a book mall. I'm surprised to hear this. Only money is provided to promoters in this city yeah. and in this state and as well as the country. Book mall is more of a hangout place. Mall culture is sprouting up these days to a great extent. It's in vogue rather in this present generation. They're accepting it. Many people are against it, but a new generation is accepting this mall culture because it's a, it provides a complete package. It's easy. Exactly, they're ready to have a jungle mall and all money instead of jungle mall. The debate raises a host of questions about the way Calcutta's changing. Jayita embraces the book mall, but she has some wider concerns. What I feel today is people, many people are losing their roots because they're going abroad and for better, obviously for better options, for good infrastructure, for good ma for money, to make money. And they have to leave their parents in the city, their old parents, and that is why many old age homes are also there in Calcutta, they're sprouting up. And uh, uh, this is something very painful for the old parents to not to get their children with, beside them at the fag end of life. So this is what I fear about Calcutta, you know, or what will the, the, the future of Calcutta, what will happen? This, this, I, this modernization, I'm totally against of it. Only because of what I've seen in modernism, one, there is no, lo, no, no love to each other. Because only they're after money, they're just running after money and nothing else. The new mall will be good for Arabinda's business but he still feels its effect on the traditional culture he loves. He thinks students are using books only for material purposes, when they should have nobler ambitions. Now books are meant only for earning money. They read books, they know just if it, they can pass through the exam in proper way. So if they get good marks over there, they will earn more money. So my younger days, I've seen that is not, not only the criteria. I think this coming generation should feel for their country first. This, at least our, in your country, the 20% or 20% of our total population is illiterate. So we must feel for the illiterate first, so that we can have a better future, in, uh, we can see a better India tomorrow. Sandeep has his own vision of a better India. He teaches literature part-time at a nearby boys' school. It subsidizes his magazine library, but also shows his commitment to Bengali culture. Someday, one of his students might end up writing for a little magazine. Why I teach Bengali? Bengali is my favorite uh, language. Now it is. Why are you doing this? What is the purpose Career, education is processing. So, what is the career of the career? What is the purpose of the career? What is the We are forgetting the Bengali literature. We are not reading Bengali literature. You prefer 
more English than Bengali language. I want that you love your mother tongue. You love your Bengali language, your Bengali literature. Books can be your soulmates. They can be friends forever. Read books, help others read books. Inspire everyone around you to make friends out of books. For 35 years, Kolkata has celebrated its love for literature in an annual book fair. This year is paying homage to the 150th anniversary of Tagore's birth. The fair always draws huge crowds and now it's bigger than ever. Sandeep won't miss it for the world. Here 200 little magazines join here, participants in this book fair. 200. Selling our magazines and books, our poetry books and many uh, thousand of uh, little Bengazin readers, writers come here. And they, uh, I, want to, I want to gossip with them. 750 little magazines published in Bengali. People love them. This hat I uh, wear uh, 27th year. I, the, this is a, uh, this is a, just like advertise. Uh, I want to say, read little magazine, buy little magazine, and buy most good little magazine. Whether it's the bus of the book fair or the tradition of College Street, Calcutta is a city in love with the printed world. And Nara Bindas just had some good news. They have announced our bookshop as a heritage bookshop. The first bookshop ever announced in, in India that's a heritage. So we're very proud. Uh, so as getting this information, I'm also very encouraged and I'm very hopeful that I must do something for the betterment of this book pile. Um, I'm also hopeful that one day they will realize that their policy should be declared as a heritage Boipara, heritage uh, locality. Boipara in Bengali means book neighborhood. It's just one of the aspects of Calcutta that inspires such loyalty in its people. I, I love the city a lot and if I want to uh, uh, my dream is to see, stay in the city and do something of my choice. The city has many things to offer which people avoid because they think uh, going, uh, to going abroad is something lucrative for their career, for their uh, future. But I won't leave the city. I don't want to. You know, this library is too much little. I know, I do not know after my death what will be? This is a question. I do not know. But uh, I will do my duty till my death. It is my message. They should come forward and everyone should be proud that we belong to Boipara.